Cleantech is one of the newly established companies dedicated to the production of air purifiers. We tested the Cleantech medical grade UVC air purifier, the first model released by this company. It uses an H11 HEPA filter and UVC light for filtration and is designed for rooms up to 200 square feet. Check out this video and find out how it performed, how loud it is, and whether it's worth buying. But before we get started, press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. The clean tech is seemingly ready to use. All you need to do is insert the power cable supplied in the package into the power connector on the bottom of the device. Then place the device in the desired location, switch it on and start the air purification process. The design of the Cleantech air purifier is not very different from other devices on the market, so there are no details to highlight. It's available only in white. The plastic is okay, but the build quality could be a bit better. The Cleantech is a small device that you can easily carry from one location to another. The inside of the device is a bit flimsy. After a few days of use, we noticed a knocking in the device when lifting and carrying it to another location. The clean tech draws air through openings at the bottom of the device, facing the ground. The air is then filtered through an H11 HEPA filter and UVC light and exits through the grills at the top of the unit. When it comes to controlling this small air purifier, there's not much to say, as the clean tech is a minimal device with no advanced options. Only one button is used for control. The button is located on the top of the device. After the first press, max mode is activated. The next press of the button switches to min mode, which is 50% weaker than max mode. A third press turns off the air purifier, and so on in a circle. For more information on controlling the device, visit airpurifierfirst.com. The biggest asset that Cleantech emphasizes is definitely filtration. In addition to the HEPA filter H11, which is the first stage of filtration and serves as a pre-filter, Cleantech uses a 24-watt, 254-nanometer UVC germicidal lamp installed in the device as the second stage of filtration. The UVC light occupies 75% of the device's surface area which is much more than in competing air purifiers. UV is a technology used in healthcare, medicine, and similar fields where practical and fast bacteria killing is needed. The most significant difference between standard HEPA filters and UVC light is that HEPA filters trap particles, while UVC light kills bacteria, because the UVC filtration is a bit of a slower process. Cleantech uses an H11 HEPA filter, which should be replaced between 6 to 12 months on average. The device does not have a filter reset indicator, so you'll need to manually track when to change the filter. The process of replacing the HEPA filter is simple. After turning the unit upside down, loosen the screws and remove the cover. Remove the old filter from the device. Insert the new and close the lid. As far as the UVC light is concerned, it lasts much longer, so you will only need to replace it every two years on average. As the Cleantech has only two speeds, you don't have many options to adjust which speed noise suits you best. The device does not have a sleep mode and is slightly louder than expected at the lower speed. At maximum speed, it's rated about average and even quieter than some competing devices. In min mode, the clean tech produces a sound of 53.6 dBA.
and in max mode, it has a sound of 60.7 dBA. If you plan to use the CleanTech in your bedroom, we recommend you consider or even check out the reviews of some other, quieter devices on the Air Purifier First channel. The CleanTech is a 36 watt machine, but almost more than half of the energy is consumed by the UVC light, which uses 24 watts. If you leave the CleanTech running at its maximum speed, hypothetically, for 24 hours a day for one month, your electricity bill will increase by about $3.65. You'll agree that this isn't that big of a cost, and that the clean tech is a cost-effective device to maintain. Additional costs are the replacement of the HEPA and UVC filters, which fortunately are not needed that often. CleanTech is an air purifier designed for rooms up to 200 square feet. Accordingly, we have tested the device in the relevant rooms. It's important to note that our tests differ slightly from the independent laboratory tests presented by CleanTech on their presentation page. In these tests, CleanTech claims to remove 99.99% .99 of viruses and bacteria. In our first test, in a 194 square foot room, CleanTech improved air quality by about 76% in 60 minutes at maximum speed. In the second test, in a 320 square foot room, slightly larger than recommended, CleanTech improved air quality by approximately 45% in 60 minutes. The results are not very impressive, especially when compared to other air purifiers. The main reason is that the CleanTech filters the air more slowly because the UVC light kills particles and does not trap them like conventional filters. We tested the CleanTech in a glass box by placing the device in a box filled with smoke. See how long it takes CleanTech to remove all the smoke from the box. CleanTech recently appeared on Indiegogo, and it was immediately obvious that this is one very innovative air purifier. The story of the device itself and the filtration technology is fascinating, but the exaggerated lack of advanced features and the slightly more inferior performance it showed are something that the CleanTech brand should definitely work on. If you still want to try a somewhat different air purifier that kills bacteria and viruses, with the help of a large 24 watt UVC light, instead of just trapping them, then give the CleanTech Air Purifier a try. See the detailed review at airpurifierfirst.com. All links can be found in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and click subscribe. That's it for now.